Hello and welcome. I continue upgrading my Windows XP gaming rig. I already upgraded the main board and the GPU in the last parts, and today I would like to do something about the load CPU fan. Unfortunately, this main board seems not to have any fan control and it blows with full speed all the time, independent from the actual CPU temperature. That is extremely annoying. The easiest way would be probably just to kick the original fan and to buy something more expensive, but that would be boring, so let's see what else I can do about it. This fan works with 12 volts, and the speed can be controlled by reducing the voltage. Usually such a fan needs at least something around 4 to 5 volts to start spinning. The simplest and the most common way to get the voltage down is to use a resistor in row with a fan. You can buy such a ready-to-use adapters with integrated resistor, which gets the voltage on the fan down to usually something between 7 and 9 volts. The question is, which resistor will we need? This is a super basic electronics math. The connector on the main board provides 12 volts, which usually go directly to the fan. To reduce the voltage on the fan, let's say to 7 volts, we will need a resistor which would absorb 5 volts from the overall 12 volts. So, which value shall the resistor be? To calculate that, we will need the Ohm's law. Voltage equals current multiplied by resistance. Or other way around, the resistance equals voltage divided by the current. We know that we want to have 5 volts across the resistor, but to be able to calculate the resistor's value, we will need to know the current. The current is the same in the whole circuit, and is defined by the fan. The value in this case is at 250 milliamps. so now we have everything what we need to calculate the resistor value. It should be 20 ohm. This fan has four wires. Black is ground, red is 12 volts, blue is used for the rotation speed sensor, and yellow is called PWM control. The last two pins are interesting for the mainboard with integrated rotation speed control, which my mainboard doesn't have, so I can ignore those. What I need are the black and the red wires. Now, what I could do is cut the red wire and solder a resistor in between. However, this could be a problem, since not every resistor with the same resistance value is the same. If you buy some resistors, you will not only find resistance values, but also their power values. What is it good for? Well, what exactly happens if we add a resistor in row to the fan? The fan starts to rotate slower, sure, because not the whole power goes now to the fan. Now, some power is consumed by the resistor. But what happens with that power? In the nature, nothing can disappear and appear out of nowhere, so the power consumed by the resistor will be converted into heat. The resistors get hot, in other words. But how much excessive power or heat can a resistor dissipate without taking any damage? Let's see how much power a resistor should dissipate at all. Power is equal voltage multiplied by current. We want to dissipate 5 volts by 250 milliamps. That makes 1.25 watts. That is quite a lot of power to be honest. Such a common resistor can usually stand maximum 250 milliwatts, and would I use it in the circuit with a fan, it will most likely stand in flames after a short while. Therefore, I would need a more powerful resistor, and when buying a resistor for such use cases, you always should not only calculate the required resistance value, but also its power limits. I have some resistors at hand which would stand 1.25 watts and more, but uh, they all have wrong resistance values. I could go and buy one, but I think I can provide another solution with the parts I have at hand. One slightly more complicated but also more efficient way to get the voltage on the fan down to a required value is to use a transistor and a voltage divider out of two resistors. The basic idea is to use a pair of resistors connected to the base of the transistor to control the voltage across the transistor. For this solution you don't need any powerful resistors, since there is not much of current running through them. This is the cheapest and the most common solution in the fan control circuit. It is slightly more complicated to calculate properly than the one with a single resistor, but I will not go deeper into it now. 
I just hope that you understand the basic idea behind it. What we have here is basically a linear voltage regulator, which I've been talking about already a couple of times in another videos about CPU power supply circuits. I could build such a regulator from the parts which I have at hand, but as I dug through my spare parts, I found these ready to use step down buck converters in my box, which I ordered for another project ages ago. And I thought those could be a really simple, cheap and fast solution for everyone. The nice thing about this regulator is that they provide an adjustable resistor, which can be used to set up the output voltage to a required value. These switching regulators accept any input voltages up to 23 volts and can output voltages down to 1 volt. And the best thing is that they cost less than 5 euro for 5 pieces. That is less than 1 euro per converter and they are then useful for many DIY projects, like for example 3 volts power supply for a 486 CPU, if you know what I mean. So, what I need to do is simply cut the red and the black wire on the fan. Tin the leads. And solder the wires to the converter. This change is of course easily irrevertible. I also add a shrinking tube to prevent any short circuits and for protection reasons. Now what I need is a hole through which I could turn the adjustable resistor later to set up the speed of the fan. Let's do a short test. Here I have a dead mainboard which I can use to test the fan. And as you hopefully hear, now I can set up the speed of the fan to some reasonable value where it still blows enough air, but is as silent as possible. Yeah, this is good enough I think, but should it be still too loud or too slow, I can readjust the voltage anytime later. Time to install the fan back in place. Here we go. The fan is now very silent. As you see, when the output voltage drops below some minimal value, the fan stops completely. It is enough if the fan blows just a little bit. Due to the heat pipes and the quite efficient CPU cooler body, the CPU temperature doesn't get super hot, even if it runs without the fan for a longer time at all. So, now this machine is really silent, and the loudest element is the hard drive. I guess I can live with that. The rotation speed of the fan went down from 3400 RPM to 2400 RPM. I left the system running some benchmarks and demos for a while, and the temperature of the CPU was all the time under 50 degrees Celsius. The system was nearly silent. And this was it for today. If you don't know why, you can just use a resistor for such things. I hope you know now. Furthermore, I also hope that I could give you some ideas where you could use such a buck converter. A fan control is of course not the only one use case. As I said, a 3 volt power supply for a 486 could be another valid use case. But I would actually be curious to know where did you use such integrated converters already? Or maybe plan to use them? Please write into the comments which ideas do you have. And so far, thank you for watching and goodbye.